Hello, today I wanted to run through video tutorial on how to set up and configure the Magento 1.9 swatches feature. Now you've probably seen this on other e-commerce sites as you're browsing the internet, but you might not know that you can uh, enable this feature in Magento. It's available in 1.9 and above. I've set up a demo store here um, with some sample data on it so that you can see an example and I've also created a blank store where we can create this swatches feature from scratch and can run through how to set up your products to utilize this so on this site we'll just go to the t-shirt category and straight away you can see these products and you notice that these swatches appear below the product image you can click on these on this on the category page and it will reload the image like that which is pretty cool um, I think the swatches feature is really good for when you're selling clothing or something that's color based or fabric or texture um, it just allows you to see exactly what your client is purchasing you can click on the product image and see this feature um, on this example color and size are both set to use swatches clicking on the color reloads the product image so you can see when you select black it shows the black t-shirt white shows the white t-shirt and size has been set up as a swatch as well so clicking on that will just allow you to choose which product you want um, the product configuration itself is exactly the same as it would be um, before so this is just a configurable product you'd normally see these options in a drop down and then you would select the drop down and that would then choose your product um, but instead obviously this swatches feature gives a lot more visual way of really picking the product you want so I'll swap over to my blank site um, it's got nothing nothing on it and we'll run through how to set this up step by step so the first thing you want to do is to create the attributes that we're going to use for swatches and the first one is color so I'm just going to use this default color attribute um, and you want to make sure that the input type for store owner is drop down and it would be set to that for normal configurable products that's essentially what you need to create the attribute needs to be for configurable products so it needs to apply to all product types used to create a configurable product yes um, using layered navigation you can set that to filterable so on a category page the swatches will show up in that sidebar and you can filter the products by the swatch and if you want it to appear in search results obviously you can just select yes there uh, the other options don't matter too much because the swatches feature actually will do the rest for us so in the label options I'm just going to add my two options so I'm going to have a black t-shirt and a white t-shirt so we just save that and I also want to create an attribute for size so we'll just go in and we'll add this so this is where like I said you want to make sure it's drop down all product types used to create configurable product set to yes using search results yes layered navigation filterable with results and you don't need to worry about the rest too much and we'll just put in the label here and add our options I've just got a small medium and large t-shirt so I'll just quickly add that okay so that's our attribute set up we now just want to make sure that they're actually available in the attribute set so for your store you'd probably create a new attribute set for the product type you know t-shirts or or whatever I'm just going to use the default attribute set for speed so I'll just drag color and size into there save that 
So now those two attributes should be available to me when I'm creating my product. So the next step is to actually create the product. So we'll just go in, add product, attribute set based on you know whatever you've got it set to, product type, configurable product, and we'll click continue. And here we just want to make sure color and size are selected so that we can create our simple products based on those two attributes. So now we're in here, we can just go ahead and add our configurable product. So we just add all the options that you need. Um, I'll go through here. We'll leave the images for now. Um, I'll show you how to set them up in a minute. And once you've done all the main options, we can just click save and continue edit. And what we can do now is start adding our simple products. So I'm just going to quick create a couple of different options. Status enabled, not visible individually. Now I'm just going to have a black small t-shirt. Make sure that these show in stock. Quick create them and then I'll just create a black medium. So now they're created, just want to make sure they're, they've been assigned to the product, which they are. And there we go, that's them created. So what we can do now is on the front end, we can just browse to our category. Here's our t-shirt. And you can see, as you'd expect, it's a normal configurable product. The options show in a drop down. So at this point, this is where we want our drop downs to actually use the swatch functionality. So what we need to go is go into system configuration. And then in the catalog tab on the left, there's another section called configurable swatches. So we need to go to that. And there's a couple of panels here where we can change the settings. The main one being making sure it's enabled. And then here you want to select what attributes actually use the, sw the swatch functionality. In my case, color and size, but you know, this could be anything for your, your store. This option here allows you to pick an attribute that you want the swatches to show on a category page. So like our, our demo store, we had colors shown on the category page. I want colors to show on my category page too. And that will allow that to happen. The three panels underneath, are to do with the image um, dimensions. So you can change them if you don't like the default configuration. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But that's up to you. So once we've saved that, we can go back to our t-shirt on the front end of the site. And you can now see that color and size are using swatches. So instead of the drop down, we've got these clickable boxes. And you remember me saying that I've set the white t-shirt large to be out of stock. So when I select white, it actually automatically grays out this swatch so that you know it's out of stock. You can't purchase it, which is a cool little feature. So what we want to do now is to start assigning our product images. And the first, the first one we're going to do is the configurable product. So you want to go and find that. <clears throat> and we want to find the images tab. Um, what we want to do by default now is that when we select black or white, we want the corresponding image to show up here. So I've already created my images, so I'm just going to select two base images that I can use, upload those. And you don't need to worry about these radio buttons, you just need to label the image with the same attribute value from from before so this would be white and this would be black and we're just going to go ahead and save that so the swatches feature should pick that up automatically so when we reload this page 
So you can see the black t-shirt has been assigned to the black swatch and the white t-shirt has been assigned to the white swatch. So if you click those, click the white, our white image shows, click the black one and the black image shows. So that's all fairly simple. Now what you also need to do is when you select a size you can see that that goes back to the, the fallback image because what we need to do is for each option we need to assign a different image. So if we're still in this configurable product here what we need to do is load up each one of these and assign it an image. So this was the black small so we can just upload that, select base image, save that. So I'll just do these quickly now. Right, so now if we reload this product, so I've got the black, default black image and the default white image. Black small stays small, medium, medium, black large swaps over, select the white and that defaults back to the white swatch, small is the small and medium is the medium and large. I did upload the image so it will load it in but the product is obviously out of stock. Now the other thing you might want to do is in my products are black and white so it's fairly straightforward but if you had a different color you might actually want to change this to be a full sort of block color so what you need to do with there is we need to upload a swatch image for those and that goes into the WYSIWYG image folder so I'll just come into the CMS pages I'm just going to upload some images into the into this media storage and it has to be inside a swatches folder so you create a folder on the root called swatches and inside of there you need to upload your images and they have to be PNGs and the file name should be the attribute value so fairly straightforward in my case it's just black and white and that's all you have to do you can just come out of that then and if we reload the page, so you can see now that we've got the black swatch and the white swatch. And the functionality works exactly the same as it did before. So it will reload all these images. And what we can also do is look back on this category page and see here, because I set the color in, in the options config, they actually show up here and you can click on them and it changes the product image. The only other thing we can do is to demo the layered navigation. If I open up the category and set that. Refresh the page. So now you can see the size and the color attribute to be shown filterable with results. You can click on, on these and it will filter the products by the swatch color. And the only other thing you can do is on your configurable product, you can see when I first come to it, there's no image. What you can do is just as you normally would upload an image. So you upload a separate image to the two that you've already got in there, or you might have more depending on how many swatches you've got. But if I wanted the black small image to be the default one, but just select that as the base image, save that. And then when I go back to the front end, you'll see that we've now got configurable swatches and a product with a base image. And that will all work on the category page and the product page. So fairly straightforward, but I think a really cool feature. Um, so I hope this tutorial's helped. If you've got any problems or questions or anything that you think could be improved, then please leave them in the comments below.